as you could probably guess by a title and this here, this is gonna be extremely triggering for some people. What's this all about? Well, it started like this. A jab at a Croatian national selection for losing the World Cup's finals. And it continued like this. Me returning a favor. Kinda being a little rude because this word here. So yeah, I said this, which is actually true. I had a counter argument saying that they are French citizens. Yeah, that they are French citizens. To the Talton footballers and shame, the French themselves lack the talent. That was my response. Then this person decided to put their opinion in. Uh, let me just say that this person tried to cause drama even before, calling the World Cup a dick measuring competition between the two of us. And here they said they are French citizens, in quotation marks, and in quotation right marks, the French lack talent. And I defended my claim with saying that citizenship, even though I did misspell it, does not equal nationality, which it doesn't. And of course, since those guys, most of the French representations are black, I'm automatically racist. And here I made a I tried to make a joke that the African national selection beaten us fair and square in the finals. Too bad that a trophy is going to French. Said you started it, don't go crying racism after hearing the facts. Because the fact is that most of the French national team has fr uh, African origins. I'll come to that later. In case you're wondering, friend, most of most of the African players were born in France. But hey, you obviously know the facts. Yes, I do. How is their nationality African? I didn't say their nationality is African. They say I said that they're an African national selection. As a joke. And then I said that. Ivan Rakitic was born in Switzerland, still plays for Croatia because his nationality is Croatian. He's a Croatian citizen and his nationality is Croatian. He's a Croat. What are the basis of saying that they are African national selection? He asked. Most of the French quotation mark national selection is of African descent. Different countries, different nations, which is most important here, you'll see why, and different people groups, but definitely not from Europe, which they are not. They do not originate from Europe. And I said, I don't care for which country they play, to be honest. I mean, we had a Brazilian playing for Croatia once. What got me angry was I kind of did uh, mix up this guy with the first guy and I thought he made a little jab, but that's besides the point. They are born and live in France. Nationality doesn't mean descent. So, so he tried to kind of diffuse the situation and kind of true what he said. It does and it doesn't. It depends how you feel. But in the same time, 
Nations ha uh, of the same descent have split apart for different reasons. But the truth is that you cannot become a part of a nation if... Uh, at least that's my opinion. You cannot become a part of a nation if you're not born into it. And he did say that they lived their entire lives in France and they were born in France, but that's not what I mean. They are Africans. Don't take it as me being racist. That's a fact. And they are of African descent. They belong to a different nation than the French. And there are differences between the French and those nations. They are easily to easy to notice. Doesn't mean I mean I think of them as less worthy. I did say that they are uh, awesome footballers before. They are not French. And the point was me poking fun at the French for not being able to make a decent national team without immigrants. And what makes them not European? And of course I jokingly said, are you a Daltonist? No, even a Daltonist would figure it out. But I'm definitely not racist. Did I ever say that I think of them as less worthy. Here I post a link to the definition of nationality. Will come into play later. And here I, he said that I mixed him up with the previous person. No matter. And I said that they are human beings same as me, but they are not European. French are also European, Caucasian. Or here I said, are you suggesting that African people, African people are less worth? Because he fought so hard to prove to me that the black people in uh, French a national team were European, which they are not. They are not European. They are of African descent. And no matter how much you try to go around it, they are not European. And the only reason I could find for him pushing them as European is because he considers African people less worth. I did kind of say this to take a quick jab at him because it was just a fantastic opportunity do you listen to yourself yes I do you hear yourself I think that's what he meant but no matter born and raised in France by definition he's a French citizen with French nationality no he's a French citizen with French citizenship of course he has a French passport, he has French documents, he has all the rights as any other French citizen does, but he's not a part of the French nation. Because the French nation originates from Europe. And here I realized I mixed them up, but that's besides the point. And that doesn't make my uh, the fact I mixed them up doesn't make my argument any less stupid. I said no. The fa and this is my answer to the this here. So no, the fact they were born and raised somewhere means that they are citizens. Not that they are a part of a nation. And he was obviously confused. And I listed a couple of <laughs> examples. Like, there are 8 million people claiming Croatian nationality, claiming to be Croats, in the entire world, but only 4 million people in Croatia. Even more drastic when it comes to being Irish. And here he posts a nationality, status of belonging to a particular nation, and this is wrong, but it's at synonymous 
of citizenship. It is not. Citizenship means you have that nation's passport and that nation's documents. Nationality is you belonging to the culture, to the linguistic, religious, uh, folklore, and uh, I think I said, yeah, ethnic, culture, cultural, linguistic, and familiar tie to a group of people. And I stand behind this. Same tradition, same, same language, same culture. And culture and traditions are lost in the cities, big cities. And that's where all of this probably comes to part because big cities aren't so much different from one another. While if you go to villages in France, they are a lot different from villages in any other place in Europe. Uh, and so are the German villages, and so are the Croatian villages, and so on. And here I posted the second definition that he so skillfully avoid. An ethnic group forming a part of one or more political nations. An ethnic group can be more political nations. And it says, all the main nationalities of Ethiopia, because there are more nationalities in Ethiopia, which will also come to play uh, later. And he kind of quoted this political nation. And I told him that his definition is wrong. And Sev trying to defuse everything again. Props to you, man, but... Okay, both are correct definitions. No, I'm... I'll have to disagree with you, Sev. The first one is wrong. Citizenship does not mean nationality. And here said, because all black people have the same political beliefs. Right. Uh, I never said that. I said African na national selection as a joke. Not all white people have the same political beliefs. And political beliefs does not mean political nation. Croats are one political nation, they don't all share the same beliefs. Uh, Germans are one political nation. Actually no, there are two, they are Bavarians and they are Germans. They don't all share the same political beliefs. Same goes for French, same goes for Spanish, same goes for everybody. Because if this was right, there would be two nations inside of America. Democrats and Republicans, but still they all consider themselves just Americans. So I don't know where he was aiming with this. And I think I kind of mixed them up. Or I, I, yeah, I kind of mixed that up. I took an example of the Tamil people, the Tamil nation. And I said, just because a Tamil uh, gets a British citizenship doesn't mean he automatically becomes British and stops being a Tamil. And Sel was kind of confused on that. He... I don't know why, okay. Maybe he didn't know, maybe he doesn't recognize them as a nation, which... I don't understand, how can you not recognize somebody as a nation? And I say, then Tamil as a nation inhabit the south of India and north of Ceylon, the island the country Sri Lanka is on. And they did actually fight a war there, they're trying to become independent at Ceylon. And this guy says, there is no Tamil nation, and that I should spend five seconds googling something before making an ass of myself, which I don't see how I made an ass of myself. There is Tamil people, Tamil language, even a state named Tamil Nadu. That's a nation. They might not be an independent nation, but they are a nation. And he says that nations have to be independent and stable. 
which is purely idiotic. It's it's idiotism at its finest. That would mean Kurds are not a nation and Kurds before 91 are not a nation. Those are the first things I could think of saying. And he said that he would argue that, yes. But that would also mean that Chechens are not a nation and the, the Russians instead. And saying to a Chechen that he is Russian and that he cannot have his own nation yeah, that's that's dangerous. Chechnya is a republic inside of Russia. They're not independent, but they are a nation. Same go for the Karelian. Same goes for the uh, Tatars. Same goes for, let's say, Catalan people or Basque people or Galicians or I don't know. Serbs, Bosniaks, and Croats in Bosnia. Because, okay, Bosnia is a kind of a messed up example because that's just a confusion even to me, to be honest. No matter, I said that Lakota aren't a nation by him, which is stupid. And I said that natives in Canada are even today called the First Nations. They are recognized as nations inside of Canada, and they are not independent. And Croats were a nation long before independence. They built their independence around the nationality, not the other way around. And here Sev kind of... I'm gonna say that this goes into my basket, because States in India have their own languages and, and are considered to be from their state, so there's a sense of belonging to the state, to a nation, not... I mean, they are Hindi people, but they have the sense... Some people inside of India have the sense of belonging to their state, like the Sikkim people, which were actually independent for a while. The Naga people which are seeking independence. The Tamil people I mentioned earlier. Kashmir people. And I said that Yugoslavia, while existed, was a country made out of several nations. Slovenia, Slovenes, Bosniaks, Serbs, Croats, Macedonians, Albanians, uh, Gypsies or the Romani people are also a nation, a stateless nation. You obviously know your facts, this is just diminishing me, and this is pretty much saying Yeah right, you can't convince me, but I'm running out of facts myself. And I do know my facts. Let me show you. Israeli are denying Palestinians their nationality, and use that as an excuse to organize the biggest concentration camp in the world's history, the Gaza Strip. Georgia did the same to South Ossetia and killed over a thousand civilians in their way in 2008. That's the year Russia uh, decided to march in Georgia, destroy their army, and yes, a hundred people died in the Russian invasion, but a thousand civil hundred civilians died in a Russian invasion. On a lot bigger uh, territory than these thousand people in South Ossetia. Saddam Hussein denied Kurds their nationality and used a chemical weapon against them. Serbs did the same to Croats in 91. And I'm not gonna read this bullshit... Uh, gonna, gonna read that because your bullshit tires me out. Have a good day. So I'm not gonna read that because you have a point. And I don't want to hear it. Fact, there are two main nations in Ethiopia. Oromo people, which are African descent, and Abyssinians, which actually came in from today's Yemen. And are a Semitic group. And who am I trying to convince? Him or me? I don't need convincing. 
and I said, you said that I know my facts, I thought you'd be happy for me proving you right. Because I did list some facts. <laughs> and... I'm somehow making an embarrassment out of myself, and... He doesn't get much out of cringe compilations. AKA, I'm beaten. To be fair, yeah, I said, look who's talking. I took a jab at French national, in quotation marks, team, because somebody took a jab at my national team. You c he called me a racist and negated my nationality. Because you do not create a nation by just saying, hey, hey you're a nation now. There are some cultural and traditional uh, links you need to have to be a nation. And he pretty much denied that with his uh, thesis that nation has to be independent. Because Croatia wasn't independent for a long time. And I did block him here because... My nationality is something I'm proud of. It's a part of who I am. And uh, negating that kind of makes me angry because a lot of people, even in Croatia, consider me to be an Italian because of the region where I live. And that does pisses me off. But I decided, after I kind of cooled down, to unblock him. Just for shits and giggles. And that's... And I'm perfected because of that. Because I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna stay angry. That obviously makes me pathetic. And a pussy. Okay. Okay. And since he claimed that if nations have to be independent, are the English, Scot and Wales different nations? Because none of these are independent. They're all UK. None of them are independent, but... Deny any of them th their nationality. That's not gonna be nice. <laughs> and... I don't know what this was supposed to mean that I actually unblocked him because I was genuinely curious on what he's going to say and he said I don't give a flying fuck aka I don't want you to use this against me because if he said yes I could have argued that they're not and that they don't see themselves as a same nation and it would probably be a problem of Forcing them to be a same nation. Whoops, sorry about that. That was a video exporting. And if he said that they are different nations, well, then I was right. And I would shove that in his nose because he's an asshole. And no matter what he's gonna say, I won't care. That's what he said. I would care, and I would use it against you, because that's a debate, that's what a debate should be, and you just, check, and you just checkmated yourself in this debate, <laughs> with the dumbest claim I've ever heard, because nations do not have to be independent. It's simple, are England, are English, Scots and Welsh separate nations? It's a simple question. Why would I give you the respect of answering your questions when, when you've done nothing but piss me off and be idiotic? If it makes you happy, sure, they are. Oh, I didn't actually know that he answered, but they are. So, I was right. A nation doesn't have to be independent. You see, that's a nice surprise I didn't see. And I'm pissing him off? <laughs> he called me a racist and denied my nationality.
and I'm the one being a fucking idiot somehow. And if I haven't picked up on how I'm being an idiot, he's not going to repeat himself. AKA, I've been beaten. Please stop. <laughs> and that's what I said. I'm an idiot because he has no arguments left. And he said that'd be almost convincing if I hadn't been all dramatic and block him. Well, sorry, I was getting a bit emotional because you denied my nationality. It's something I do care about. Unlike you, obviously. I don't know what kind of effed up nation you're from, not to be proud of it, but I can be proud of Croatia. It is a fucked up country. People do need a bit of waking up. But I am proud to be a Croat. And here he is making fun of my nationality again. And here I said that you do not create a nation based on a country. It's the other way around. And then he decided to block me. And if you do create a nation uh, based on a country that already exists, there would be no conflict in Iraq. Because the problem there is that colonial borders split up three nations. The Shia South, the Sunni Middle, and the Kurdish North. And that's where the problem started. And of course, he blocked me. And I said, I acted on a motion. You blocked me because you ran out of arguments. I come down and you still lack arguments. I don't know. This is a tricky subject and a lot of people might not agree, agree with me, but in the end, even this asshole, who I won't have to tolerate anymore, <laughs> said that I was right, that they are different nations. That English, Scott, and Wells are different nations. But we needed to go through all of this, even though I did miss one of the page, sorry about that, to come to the conclusions that a nation doesn't have to have a country. And it all started as a quick jab at a na national team. So yeah, I'm a bit pissed off at this guy. He unfoundedly called me a racist. Just because I said that they're black doesn't mean that I think that they're less worth than me. I'm just pointing out, pointing out the difference. Because it's there, I'm not blind. And if that makes me a racist, fine. But I think a bigger racist is the one who expects them to be French just because they are born and raised in France. He pretty much denies them their national identity because they were born in France. And that's just another idiotism. So yeah, I'm gonna stop it here and I know I'm gonna make a lot of people angry, at least if somebody sees this. But to be honest, I don't care. Make sure to tell me your opinion in a comment. I am genuinely curious on what people think about this. So bye.